Hello everybody. It's 6.45 in the morning and we're taking our kittens, older kittens, Colby and Buddy up to the Sheboygan vet to be spayed and neutered this morning. So we're up really early and we have to get them there between 8 and 8.30 and Sheboygan is 20 some miles away. So that's what's going on. Buddy has no idea yet. No idea. Oh. There she is. Colby doesn't know either. Colby. We'll be loading them up in the cat carrier pretty soon. You're not going, Smokey. No, they'll be fine. They'll be back soon for you to groom their heads. <laughs> yeah, everything will be fine. Are you gonna go in there? No. All right, we're here and it's still dark outside. Darker than the phone makes it look. I have to wait for them to open. Okay, there they go. And we'll have to pick them up and they'll call us, but six to eight hours from now. So we have to find something to do here in Sheboygan for six to eight hours. Okay, they said 2 p.m. And right now it's eight. So we're here at Walmart to do a little bit of grocery shopping. And then after that, we'll check out the new McDonald's and then I don't know what we'll do, right? Yep. Yeah, this is how we like to see Walmart. Hardly anybody in here. Okay, we're done in there. It's only nine o'clock. And like I said, the phone doesn't show it, but it's still dark out. Really crappy weather. But now we have to figure out what to do next. So we have an hour and a half to wait until McDonald's starts serving lunch, because we don't want breakfast from them. So we came here to the Sheboygan Dam to just sit and wait. And they haven't even plowed in here, so luckily we didn't get stuck. But in the meantime, Don did fix the trailblazer last night at one o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. One of the new coils was bad. And that's why it was making horrible noises and all that. Yep, bad right out of the box. Yep, so he put one of the old ones in that didn't have anything wrong with it. Yeah. And it runs smooth now, and hopefully it's not using gas like crazy, even though we don't know because the cluster board still doesn't work. Yeah, because it didn't come on to tell me where we was do that for gas, so. Yeah, and it has power, and it never really had power the whole time we owned it, right? Uh, I was really cluster board, I'm not sure, because I never did any testing on that. No, yet. no, the power of the of the vehicle oh. driving down the road. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, driving power, yeah. Yes, that's what I mean. Yeah. So anyway, good job, congratulations. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. Okay, this is the brand new McDonald's in Sheboygan, and I mean brand new. They tore the old one down and built this brand new one, and it just opened three or four days ago. It's definitely very different in here than the old one. Totally, entirely. They don't have a drink station anymore. That's probably because of the big C word. <laughs> yeah, it looks really, really nice in here. You can sit down, you know. Yeah, I know, but I'm putting my stuff away. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice. Very nice in here. And very different. Big time different. Look at that front counter area. You can't even see back there anymore. Definitely really different. Of course they have these things. But yeah. <laughs> it's really nice in here. What do you think? Definitely different. Yeah. Big time different. Yeah. Okay, it's 12.43 p.m. And we are back here again. They called us and said the kittens will be done, ready to be picked up after one. So we have nothing left to do. We went to Burger King so Don could get um, coffee because he hates it from McDonald's. Then we went to McDonald's for lunch. Then we went to Dollar Tree. Then we went to Family Fair. And before that, all of that, we went to Walmart. So we are out of things to do. Here they come.
there they are. Turn this way a little bit. Uh, let me get the stuff out of my hand first. <clears throat> there we go. How do you feel now? <laughs> so what'd they say? Uh, the usual. Yeah, not, nothing, nothing unusual about it? Mm, nope. All right, good. Okay, time to come out. There you go. <laughs> You're both all set now. No kittens. <laughs> yeah, you better go take a nap, Colby. Yeah, that'll be a little wobbly after. Yeah. <laughs> but, yep, they did good. And they got the rabies shots. And plus, uh, they're on pain meds, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, both are. On pain meds? All right, yeah. good. Yeah, Smokey. You already had your turn. So did you. But, nope, no, we <coughs> no, yep. no baby making. Nope. And Buddy, even though he is two months younger than Colby, he is three pounds heavier than she is already. So he'll, he's going to be a big boy. And you're going to be a little girl, Colby. But yep, the vet said take it easy. <laughs> She's all confused. Everybody else is like, what's going on here? <laughs> Everybody but Spotted Leaf. She's like, I'm just staying right here. I don't care. No, you don't, do you? Nope. Mm -hmm. That even remembered her. Yeah, because she had indolent ulcers on her top lip. That's why it looks a little funny. Which well, now she's not going to let you see. But we had to take her to the vet last year. And he got it all taken care of, but it takes a very long time to heal, and it took a long time to start to heal. So the vet wanted to know how she's doing, and she's doing good. Yep. It's finally healing. Yep. He, he remembered me and her, so he asked about her. Yep. Because he was curious about how she was doing because of that upper lip. Yep. So. He, he's a good vet. He remembers his patients. So where are you going? I'm going to... Go outside and uh, try the snowblower out because I'm not sure if the blades will keep on spinning on that or not because of the belt being bigger. But I've wrapped some tape around one of the tension pulley to make it bigger, hoping that it might make it uh, get tighter, you know, when you pull down on the lever to make the tension pulley go down onto the belt. Okay. So. Well, let's end the video first. All right. So like I just said, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video. We were in Sheboygan all day long, and now it's time for Colby and Buddy to rest. And we're just going to have pizza for dinner and relax. So we're going to say goodnight, and we hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for subscribing. We really appreciate every one of you. Say goodnight. Say good morning. And we'll see you next time.